Hello, welcome to this edition of MyLabs Trackside training videos. In this session, I will show you how to manage the transponder ID numbers within Trackside, assuming you are already a proficient user of Trackside. Before you start scoring with transponders, please understand the value of accurate data. Looking under Maintenance Racer Database, you can see that the transponder ID is tied to the racer in the database the same as you would tie a birth date or an address to a racer. No matter how many classes that racer is in, the racer only needs to have one transponder ID assigned to him, the same as he only needs one birth date or address. Here to set a default value for this racer, I can put in his transponder number. Then the next time this racer is signed up, it will remember this transponder number. There are many ways in Trackside to manage transponder IDs. I will cover them all and you can decide which way is best for you. The most common method is to enter the transponder number on the sign up tab while you are signing a racer into the event. As I retrieve a racer from the database, the transponder number the racer used last is still going to be assigned to him. If the racer is not using that tr same transponder number, I can change it here while I'm signing the racer into the event and it will be saved for the next time I do this action. If the racer is new or does not have a transponder number, you can enter at the time you're signing a racer into the event. I will clear this data and sign up a new racer. I will put in his transponder number while I'm signing him up. Select the class. Give him a bike number and a brand. Racer is now signed up. I can go and right click on this racer and just get a summary of what his classes are that he signed up for. When you're scoring your events with Trackside, it is very important that you assign a transponder number to all racers. If you want to keep your users from entering racers without a transponder number, you can set the preferences under Edit, Preferences, Require User to Enter a Transponder Number at Sign Up, have that selected as Yes. Now, anytime that someone is signing a racer up on the Sign Up tab, they must enter a transponder number. Let's look at other ways to manage your transponder IDs. If you click on the Class Detail tab and then select the class on the left, you will see all the racers in the class and the transponder numbers assigned to each. You can select a racer here, double click on the racer, and then you can add that transponder number for that racer. Keep in mind that when I just updated this racer, all the classes that racer is in, if he's in multiple classes, that transponder number got changed for all his classes. Another way to manage the transponder IDs is by the entire class. Here I can see that several racers need a transponder number. If I know which racer has which for this class, I can double click the class name here. Then I can put the transponder numbers in for all the racers. And now click OK. And every racer in this class now has a transponder ID assigned to him. Another way to manage the transponder IDs, go to the Transponder menu option, and then Assignments for All Entries. Here I have the list of all the racers in this event. If I have a list of the names and the IDs that belong to them, I can start typing in the racer. I'm going to start typing in a racer with the last name of Curtis because I know his transponder number now. When it finds Curtis, I tab down to him, put his transponder number in. When I'm done, I could go to the next racer or I could just say OK and close out. The final topic to cover has to deal with how you as a promoter 
can manage your rental transponder IDs within MyLabs TrackSide. Click the transponder menu and then click rental transponder list. Here you will add your rental transponder numbers. After adding the IDs to this window, you're able to create a smaller alias number that you assign to your transponders. If you do place a shorter number on the transponder, you can assign it here when your racer is using one of your transponder numbers. You will just simply enter the alias number that you assign to a transponder. I'm going to add new and one of the transponders in my rental fleet. I will put it in. And the alias number for that transponder that I've made up and defined myself is 998. It would be common to use the last three digits. Another way to get transponder IDs into this list Take all of your rental transponders and scan them with your decoder. Once you've got them all scanned, save them to a file. You can go to the Import from File button, pick the transponder file that you created. At this time it's asking me do I want to import alias numbers. By default, Trackside will use the last four digits and create that as the alias. Here I'm going to say no. Now you can see Trackside took my 30 transponders, added them to my rental list. If I wanted to create an alias number, I could type it into here. Also on this screen, I can print rental sheets. There are several options to print from. You would just need to print each one, take a look, and see which one fits your needs. When you do have rental transponder IDs, it's a good idea to remove the IDs from the racers who rented them after your event is complete. Most commonly, before your next event, you would come into this window and click Reset Rental IDs Assigned to Racers. What this will do is, any racer who rented one of your transponder IDs, that ID number is removed from being assigned to that racer, because it's very unlikely that racer will have that exact ID number again. Any racer who owns his own transponder number will still keep that number assigned to him. This helps you to manage your data and keep your racing day going smoothly. Now I'm going to close out of this screen. If you take a look here now that I've put in those 30 ID numbers, they're now available to be selected from my drop-down list. As I enter a racer, I can just select one of my rental numbers or I can type in the transponder number that racer may own. Keep in mind, this data is very important to making your scoring day run smoothly. Accurate transponder numbers assigned to the racer will make it much easier for you to score your races. This concludes this session of Managing Transponder IDs. Find more training sessions online at mxtransponder.com.